Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Paleo, which is a new cooperative game about trying to survive an adventure in the Stone Age. Just before we get started, I recommend you turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel in case I make any mistakes, they get corrected there. And if you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs, there's a link to a Patreon in the description. Any support would be much appreciated. So in this game, we are playing with module A and B, which is level one. The game does come with loads of different modules that can be combined in these preordained ways, but also can be combined just however you like. You can make your own levels out of them. We're playing with A and B Bountiful Prey, which concerns going out looking for mammoths to hunt, and a new world, we're going to need some shelter. They give us missions that we're going to have to have done by each night. In the day, we go through our decks here. We basically have a, a set deck that gets cards from each module added to it. That deck is then split among each group as evenly as you can do it. And once we've gone through our decks, that's the end of the day. And then we have the night where we need to have some things ready. So we need some food and, and a pelt to get the Bounceful Prey mission okay. And then New World, we need a tent to be sleeping in. If we don't do these, we get skulls. Skulls are bad. If we take too much damage and our survivors die, we get skulls. Skulls are bad. If you ever get five of them, you lose the game. We will find encounters, though, that will give us these victory tokens. We're basically trying to complete this cave painting out of these pieces. If we complete the cave painting, we win. I'm playing a two-player game today of this with Little Glass Marty. There is a solo variant, but the aim of the game is it's designed around two to four players. Five food. Just five food is what separated me from setting up this game properly. Basically, just a quick note to say that, unfortunately, I didn't put the five food down when setting this game up, and consequently, the playthrough is harder and shorter than it would have been. But unfortunately, for reasons that will become clear shortly on the channel, I'm sure, things are in boxes at the moment. And I hope that this playthrough will still give you a good idea about what Paleo is all about. And we did have the food when we played, so my first impressions video shouldn't be affected either way. So how are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to let you get on with the playthrough. Uh, take it away, past me. So on a day, you draw the top three cards from your deck, and all you can see is the backs of the cards that will give you some idea of what's going to be on the other side, although not necessarily. So these, these red thorns cards are bad things, but not necessarily all of them. There can be some good things on the other side. Likewise, the good thing here, go adventuring in the forest, more likely to get us wood or food could also be a bad thing. So out of these three cards, we're going to pick one to go through this turn and the other two go back on our decks in any order. I think we do start the game with two adventurers in each of our groups and mine just happened to give me some extra tokens, some rope and some pelt, which I can use to uh, get an extra action symbol or I can prevent a damage, but a pelt is needed for the Bountiful Prey mission. I think I'm going to straight off go for one of the Thorns cards to try and get rid of it. So these two go on top of my deck, I think, you know, let's go for Forest next time. And then Marty, he's going to, we don't want both want to do one of these, I don't think. He's going to have a look over at the river. And there can be special versions of these cards with extra things on the back. So it could be river with uh, a particular animal. And so you, you know you're probably going to encounter that animal. So then we can look at them and we resolve our cards, but we can also help each other resolve them. So my bad thing is the solitary wolf here. So our only option for an action here is... If we have the, the eye symbol, which we, we each have actually, and we give up a food and discard two cards, and then this card goes out of the game, we can get the solitary wolf. Here he is. He would provide us with an extra one of these symbols, which can help you with actions that need more and more of them. Unfortunately, though, because it's so early, we haven't gotten any food. What if, though? Yeah, I was going to say, what if Marty could do his? He could do his deer, get some food, and then I could do mine but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, this is actually probably the worst thing that could happen straight away uh, because, yeah, the, we don't have any food to give up. We, I give up a torch or lose two hearts. And so normally two damage wouldn't be so bad for Marty to take it. It would be fine. Uh, it's going to be quite tough for mine though. We, we can take the damage, but one more damage on either of my people and they're dead. And when people die, you get uh, skulls on here. So no option. I didn't have any food, didn't have any torches. Marty helping me, it wouldn't uh, make a difference. And I'm not allowed to help him. Normally on a card here, you've got this option of, uh, instead of doing the action, you could help the other player. 
but yeah, I'm not allowed to do that. So we saw that and it was discarded. There's two different discard piles here. When you discard something because of an action like this, you discard them face down into this pile. Whereas if you saw the card, it goes into this discard pile, just so it stays mysterious. So Marty, similarly, he does not have the two spears. Now, if I could have helped him, I could have used my rope to give him this extra spear symbol. And then we could have done it and gotten some food and some pelts. As it is, though, no, couldn't do anything. So we go on to the next turn. I think I'll try something that isn't terrible. So I've got two forests and a thorns. Let's try something that isn't awful. And I'll just cover that up because Marty should make his decision separately. Let's both go for the forest then and not, uh, not the bad thing. So I've potentially found some medicinal root. If I had the craftsman symbol and then the vision, which I do have, and then discard two cards, we could get a medicinal root, which is something we can give up later to heal up to three damage. Or Marty has found fruits two of the vision symbol and then discard two cards to get you three food or marty alone could just discard two cards to get one food i think rather than medicinal route i'm going to choose to help marty because i don't have to give anything up between us we now have the two vision you know, ability symbols and then discarding cards you can't help with you can split damage and all sorts of stuff uh, marty would be able to use my tokens all of that we can collaborate on and it becomes as if we're kind of one group, but discarding cards has to come from the person doing the action. So Marty has to discard cards here. Now, whenever you choose to discard a Thorns card, you can't just skip past these bad things. Whenever you choose to discard one of those, you take a damage. So Marty's going to put that damage on, say, his Scout. We do get three food, though which is going to be important later because you also need to feed your people at night. So uh, yeah, that's going to be important. And you take skull tokens if you can't feed a person. So we discard that one face up as well. And we can move on to the next turn. So my options are we go camping. Now we can do some, usually do some crafting there. Not always, but we can usually craft some stuff. Bad thing or go hunting. I, th I think let's have a look in the forest again first. Marty has, f has got a couple of cards here that would help us to get a tent, which we do need for the mission, but uh, from what I remember, tents were quite costly, so I think Marty is going to go to the campfire instead. So he is at home. He can craft one thing. Now over here, there is a big 3D kind of crafting table that kind of fits these tokens in, uh, but yeah, it doesn't work in a kind of bird's eye view. How, how neglectful of them to not think of a bird's eye view. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've just put the cards, the cards slot into it and the tokens in front of them. It's quite nice, but here it's, I've just, I've just used the bottom of it. So what Marty could craft is a torch that you can spend to get an extra vision ability symbol. He can do an ax, which would give him permanently the extra craftsman symbol. Or he could spend a wood and a stone to get a spear, which would give him an extra spear symbol. And up here there is a tent. You need two craftsman symbols to be able to do it, and then it's two food and two pelts gets you a tent. So they are expensive things. Unfortunately, you might have noticed, all of these things require wood and or stone, and all we've got so far is meat. So we can, we can see what I've encountered. I've, I've encountered thorns. Uh, two craftsman symbols and then discard two cards, remove this one from the game, and you can find one wood. Nope, between us, Marty hasn't got any craftsman symbols. I've got one if I spend my rope, but it's not enough, so I have to take a damage, and I think we're going to have to lose. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I had two vision symbols, but we're going to have to lose a gatherer, sadly, very early into the game. And so we get this skull over here, so we're one-fifth of the way to losing. Uh, Marty can, uh, with a craftsman symbol, he could discover a new idea, uh, so something new that we could craft in future, but uh, no, he does not have a craftsman symbol to be able to do that, so we unfortunately just have to, both of these cards, they just go into the discard pile and we didn't get to do anything. So I probably don't want to camp, because even if I can craft things, we haven't got any wood or stone still, so I'm going to choose to go over to this river where you can see from the little guide here we could find food or pelts, usually. And uh, Marty will have a look in the forest. So Marty's found a berry bush. Discard three cards and remove one from the game to get a wood and two food. Or just discard one card to get one food. And I have found a solitary mammoth. Four spear symbols. So out of the question right away. We have two at most between us if I spent this. Two vision symbols. We could do that between us now because I haven't got uh, two people. And so I could help Marty, maybe, but all, all Marty would need me to do is discard cards. Now, if Marty discarded three cards, he would be discarding both of his tent cards here and a bad card. 
Maybe he should encounter that instead. He could just do one. Yeah, he's just he's just going to do one. Discard that and get one food. Because at the moment we just need three food for night time. Uh, and so that is going to go in discard. Uh, this one I couldn't do anything with, so it just gets discarded again. And the other thing you can kind of get from campfires, maybe I should do this now. You can sometimes, instead of just crafting, you could find new people. So I'm going to hope that it's that. Marty is... Yeah, he's going to try and find some stuff still. So he's going to go for that one. He has found a bison carcass, and I am at home where I can do some crafting. Uh, so even if, even if Marty does his thing first, we're not going to have wood or stone to do crafting. I don't have a craftsman symbol. I could spend it. Let's, let's spend the rope, why not? I could have spent my pelt, of course, to keep the gatherer alive. It's just I know that we need it for the mission as well, so we'd get a skull from that as well, but hey, who, you can't win. Uh, so we'll get a new idea, and the new idea is a trap. Okay, so I'll put the traps on here. This is something you could craft for a food and a wood. And it's a one-off, so you spend it, but it gives you two spear symbols. Could be really good for trying to get the mammoths. So that's mine done. And Marty, does he want to discard two cards to get a food and a pelt? He'll take a damage, but I think it's worth it. Because, uh, yeah, then, then maybe I'll get to use my pelt to keep this gatherer alive when I inevitably need to take a damage. So that's resolved. So next three... I could, so here we have the normal river picture, but it's got a mammoth on it now, so we know it's probably a mammoth on the other side. I know that we are absolutely not equipped. We've got one spear symbol between us. Uh, Marty, does he want a dream? He's going to have a dream. Uh, so flip them over. So I've encountered a dodo for one spear symbol, discard two cards and remove this from the game for two meat, or I could help out. Marty has had a dream of foreign hunters. Could spend a food and remove this from the game to find secret card number one. And yeah, let's do that. We've got some food. So he's spending one. He's not helping me. Well, if he helped me, I would get rid of two cards and then we would get two food. But no, he's gonna, he's gonna have his dream. So I'm gonna do nothing because I haven't got a spear symbol. So this gets removed from the game. This gets put in the graveyard to the little uh, 3D graveyard there. Uh, so that's not gonna come up in the next day. But Marty finds secret card number one. Hungry Hunters. Put this with your group. Optional. Once per turn, you can have two extra spear symbols for an action, but if you would receive food from this, receive two fewer. So maybe that's going to help out against a mammoth or something. Next cards. So yeah, Marty's going to go for the mystery card, sure. And I am going to go for the thing that's not the mammoth. So, oh, unfortunately, I have uh, encountered a bad thing. So Marty has encountered the Hungry Recluse for a food, and then remove this from the game. He can find a new idea, or for a food, and remove this card from the game. He can heal two damage. Should heal him back to full. If I had two vision symbols and discarded a card, I could get two food. I think it's better. The Hungry Recluse is good, but we can use it later. Marty is going to help instead. So he is going to help with his extra vision symbol. Oh, but I have to discard a card, so I'll take a damage anyway. I'm just thinking I'll take a damage from this. Yeah, I have to take a damage, so I'll use my pelt to negate that damage. Uh, so, still in a similar position as if we'd taken the damage from not succeeding. But this way, we get two stones, so we might be able to actually craft something, and maybe it can help us. Uh, so, that stays in. Next day, we're nowhere near equipped for the mammoth. I think it can't be a hazard if I choose mountains again, can it? And uh, Marty, yeah, we won't go for the mammoth just yet. So Marty's found a bison, four spear symbols. We could get three. That's a shame, that's not quite enough. For four food and a pelt. And he needs to discard three cards. I found a scree pile. So two craftsman symbols, we have none between us. So can't get the two stone from there. I could discard two cards to get another stone. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So we've got another stone built up, and then we, maybe we could get some uh, craftsman symbols and stuff. So I'm going to do that. Marty just uh, discards his card. Next up, I'm going to go in the woods. If we could get some wood, we could start getting some uh, spears, maybe some craftsmen, since we haven't found any of those. Marty's going to go for the campfire, and maybe he can find another person. So here we go. So he's at home. He can do some crafting. So maybe he could make an axe. He can craft one thing. Or if you have one or two people, get another person. It is another mouth to feed. 
But yeah, Marty's going to go for it. So he's going to grab another person. Or does he need to help me? He can't help me discard cards. So yeah, he's going to get a new person. It's a gatherer. So it comes with a torch, which you can discard for a vision ability symbol. Now, if I discard cards, we're going to get another skull symbol because this is a red card on top. Yeah, I should have maybe done it the other way around. But uh, maybe it's worth getting the extra skull because you do get another person if all of your people die. But no, I think we'll just ignore that card. Nothing, nothing happened from it. Okay, next one up. I'm uh, going to go for this one. And Marty could go for the campfire again. Let's, let's see what we need for the mammoth. If it's a mammoth that only needs three spears, doubtful, I don't think there is one. So I have found a trapped wild boar. Craftsman symbol, vision, get rid of two cards, remove this from the game to get some food and a pelt. Haven't got that. So I could help Marty. He needs eight spears. Yeah, no, can't do anything there. Uh, then three cards. I'm going to choose the one that isn't a terrible thing, although it is a terrible thing. Marty is going to choose the terrible thing. Why not? Uh, so hunger, pay a food or take a damage. And what's he going to afford to take a damage, I think? We're going to need that food. Abandoned cave. He can't help me as well because he uh, picked this bad card. And But I, I didn't know mine was going to be a bad card. Uh, spend a torch and then remove this from the game to get an idea. Marty's got the torch though. Marty's group. So I have to take a damage. So damage onto the gatherer. That is going to be a skull over here. And so... Yeah, out of the game. I do get a new person in my group, though. A crafter. Doesn't come with anything, but I do finally have a craftsman symbol. And uh, we can carry on. So my three cards, I'm going to go in the forest. We just maybe get some wood in all this time. And Marty's going to go adventuring in the mountains. He's found a mountain goat. He can get rid of two cards. One of them would be a red card. But he could get two food and a pelt minus two food, because he would have to use this. So he could get himself another pelt which we do need if we want to make tents and we do have to give up a pelt each night. Yeah, he'll do it. Why not? So remove these from the game, take a damage because one of them was red. And this is removed from the game. We get no food and one pelt. As for me, I haven't even looked at mine. Two craftsman symbol. Yeah, Marty wouldn't have helped anyway. He hasn't got one. Uh, and discard two cards to get three wood or discard two cards. Yep, yeah, one of them's red, but hey. Uh, so we get one wood. Next up... We have a river, and then Marty, two forests or a mountain. Yeah, try and get some more wood. Marty's got symbols at least, but not craftsman ones. I've got one craftsman one. But yeah, it doesn't help when Marty hasn't got any. So he can get rid of two cards. You know, they're good cards. They're, well, they're not, they're not red cards, I mean. He'll do that to get a wood. Or do we want... Or does he want to help me? He could help me. Get three food minus two. So we would get a food and a pelt if Marty came and helped me instead of getting a wood. I think, yeah, he's going to reverse his decision and he's going to come and help me instead. So that just goes there. And I need to discard two cards. They're not red ones, thankfully. Although I need to be doing these campfire ones to try and get some new people, I think. So we will get one food from that, but I will get a pelt. And so this is removed. That's put in the graveyard. Next up, we have... Let's see, Marty's going to go for... Yeah, let's try and find some wood. And uh, my choice... I'm going to go to the campfire and see if I can get some new people. There we go. If you have one or two people, get an extra person. But do I need to help Marty? Maybe. Marty could... If I came over with my craftsman symbol, and then Marty discards two cards and gets rid of this, we get three wood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want... I want another person, but I think it's going to help us doing this. So Marty gets rid of two cards. This is removed from the game. And we have three wood in there. So Marty does not have a choice. And so as I go into these next things, I'm not going to have anyone helping, able to help me even. So I'm at home. I, I can't help Marty. Four spears, he just can't do anyway. And that would get you secret card two, the baby mammoth. Uh, he could help me, but yeah, with what? Uh, so his card's just going to get discarded and he is done for the day. I can get a new person or I could craft something. If I wanted, say, a spear, now Marty would be able to craft a tent because he's got the pelts. Maybe. Yeah, actually, he is going to help. Why not? He didn't do anything with his card. Rather than get a new person, Marty's going to You spend his two pelts. And then the two wood is in the camp over here. Oh, we need two craftsman symbols, though, don't we? We've only got one. So, nope. 
uh, forget that idea. Uh, I'm just going to get a person then. Uh, so, new person in my group. Although, we can feed them, but we do not have the food for this bountiful prey. Or the tent for the new world. So yeah, I got a person. I can keep going. You can go to bed early and just discard the rest of your deck. Which I might do, rather than see what's on here. I'm going to try and get resources before I see what I need for this tent. Small stones, a vision symbol, don't have one anymore. Uh, and, discard a, and discard a card to get a stone. Can't do that. Uh, the tent, bear cave, uh, we could, with four spear symbols, which we would have now, if we could uh, group up. And a torch, which Marty has. Discard two cards. I can't discard two cards, though, even if those things are all true. You'd get two meat, a cave painting piece, a pelt, and a tent. Would have been fantastic. But uh, as it is, no. I'm going to choose to go to sleep early now and not even see what that is. Now we have the night phase, because we're all asleep. Everyone needs to be fed. So that's our five food gone. Then we deal with any face-up mission cards. So we have to choose one of these things. Three food and a pelt. Haven't got any food. Or a skull. There we go. And a tent. Nope. Or a skull. There we go. And finally, it's time for a new day. So all the face-down discarded cards get shuffled with these. Just flip them again. And then they get divided up as evenly as we can. Okay, so here we are for day two. Uh, let's go. So Marty's choice. Some campfires. If one of these would give him an extra person. Now he's got three. You need a food to be able to get a further person. So maybe he'll go for mountains first. And we, we have got wood and stone. I'm going to go have a look in the river. Let's see what we can find there. And so, yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of these cards. I can't remember how many dis we discarded. We've probably seen a, a good proportion of them. So once you found remnants, can discard two cards, which will be campfire cards, uh, to either get a stone or a pelt, or he could help me. I can discard two cards and remove this to get a food and a pelt. I think I'll do that. Discard two cards, this boss, bison carcass, bison carcass. And so we've got a pelt and a food over there. Marty, maybe he, he keeps getting pelts. Yeah, he's going to get a pelt as well. Discard those two. So he's got a third pelt. And so that can go over there. Mine was removed from the game. I can, I don't think it's worth looking for a mammoth. We, we would have four spears between us. If it's the baby mammoth, we can do it. And then, so if Marty wants to help, he needs to choose something that isn't a red card. Although it could still be a red card. It's a bull mammoth. Eight spears. No luck. Two craftsman symbols. I'm the only person with one. So, yep, yeah, it's just a wash for that. Could discard two cards to get a wood. Yeah, why not? He's going to discard a pelt to not take a damage. Or should he wait for that? It, it doesn't make much difference, does it? He can take this damage now. So, one more damage and someone's dying. Uh, so, we get another wood. And then... Three cards here. We could go for the mammoth again. And... Well, what if we both went for a mammoth? And then one of them's got to be the baby, has it? That's probably more. Uh, yeah, we're, bo we're both going to go mammoth. Old mammoth wants five spears. One off. And Marty, the baby mammoth. Okay, so I am helping Marty. One, two, three, four... Spear symbols, but reduce the food by two. So we get one food, one pelt. Marty has to discard two cards. And we get secret card two, which is Stampede. Oh dear, because we killed the baby. Uh, so that's removed from the game. We either get rid of two torches, we only have one, and then remove this card, or take two damage. Marty's going to give up two pelts then to prevent two damage. And then the Stampede is removed from the game. And uh, yeah, that uh, probably wasn't worth doing. So, as for me, <laughs> some uh, nice choice in the forest there. And Marty, he's going to try and craft some stuff. He gets to craft two things. So yeah, we don't have two craftsmen, so I am, I'm not going to bother getting the wood. Just not going to bother. Marty is going to craft. We don't have the craftsman symbol. So I think one of the things Marty gets is going to be... Now, both of the things he's going to craft are going to be two axes for two craftsman symbols. So they're permanent. He's got those. And so in the future, he could make a tent. We have the wood. He has the pelts. That's what he's going to go for. And in the future, that should, should help him with uh, some of the cards that are coming up. He's going to go and, well, he hasn't got much choice, actually. But he is going to risk a bad one. He could just go to sleep and uh, not have these uh, four in a row. But no, he's going to go for this one. 
I don't think it's worth going for a tent yet. So I can get rid of three cards and this from the game. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, two food and a wood because we do need we need five food again and eight ideally. And so that's removed from the game. And then Marty, vision symbol. Yeah, we can pay a food. Ugh, Marty, discard two cards though. It only gets him a vision symbol. Yeah, we're not going to get rid of a food then. Marty's going to give up his torch to keep that solitary wolf uh, in the deck. But yeah, we can't, <laughs> he can't afford to be discarding all of these cards. He's got to go for a bad one again. That's the next three cards. And I'm going to go for a campfire, maybe do some crafting. I could help Marty if he needs it. Uh, he can, yeah, he can just get the spears he needs. Hasn't got a torch anymore, though, so tough luck. Take a damage. He'll use a pelt, I guess, because, yeah, if we let someone die, the game's over. So uh, he will just take the damage that emaciated wolf stays in there. And I can craft something, or I could get another person. Let's get another person. I don't think we're making it to the night anyway. Oh, we found a guardian. No ability, but can uh, is, a, is a tank. Can absorb a lot of damage. So we can go back to the campsite again. We'll go to the river. Uh, Marty, you're going to take a break from doing uh, negative cards. Let's, let's both have a look at the river. So we've got small stones, which Marty can just do if he takes a damage to discard this. He uses his last pelt up. Or the solitary mammoth over here. Maybe he helps me do this. Yeah. So uh, th three, four spears. Fine. Two vision, Marty's got. And then I discard two cards. I can take loads of damage now. It's just one damage. Remove this from the game. It's four minus two, so two food and a pelt. And you can split the rewards. I'm going to give Marty the pelt so that either of us has enough pelts to be able to make the thing. But actually, Marty is the one that needs to help the pelts because he's got the craftsman symbols as well, hasn't he? Okay, next day. Uh, I, I might have a look in the mountains and then I can help Marty with one of his bad things. Or we could go for tent. Yeah, let's go for tent. I'm going to go in the mountains. Marty's going to go in the mountains and maybe find a tent. So we've got the bear cave again, which we can do between us. So rather than getting stones, I think I'm going to help Marty. Yeah, we won't get food, but it's a victory token, finally. So, four spears, yes. Uh, tor oh, we haven't got a torch, though. Nope, never mind. So Marty could help me with his two craftsmen, and then I discard two cards. Yeah, I can do that okay. And we get two wood in here. Done. Uh, I... We can have a look at a mammoth, but we haven't got any more spears since last time. We go in the mountains. Marty is going to go in the campfire, maybe make some uh, spears. He can make one thing, or he can look for a new thing. I found a rockfall, two vision, and a discard a card because he has two rocks. I think I just need to take the damage, though. And uh, Marty, make a... He can make the tent. Yeah, give up the pelts. Two wood. And he's got the two craftsmen, so we've got a tent for this that we have to spend at the end of today. See if we make it to the end of today. So that's his one craft. I, we could maybe make a tent. Let's go for it. And Marty will, Marty will go to the campfire, maybe craft some more things. Uh, so for the tent, we need three craftsmen symbols. We could do this. Discard three cards. I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Then Marty will help me then. And so three craftsmen symbols. One, two, three. Discard three cards, can just about afford it. Have to take a damage because one of them's red. And then this is removed from the game. Get a tent. So actually it was a waste doing that. <laughs> we have one for next time, don't we? And a, uh, what do I call it? A, a cave painting piece. There we go, let's have that one. So that is removed from the game, the collapsed cave. I'm done. Does Marty want to carry on? Yeah, he can, he can skip past the bad ones for now, can't he? He just can't have any help. So the hungry recluse, we have got enough food so i don't think we're going to be giving any up to the recluse again unfortunately we can go in the forest and we'll find some more he's got two vision he can't discard any cards though because we would lose the game so no it's probably not worth him carrying on for the day really it could just be a bad thing again although at the campfire at least he could make something can't do anything at the scree pile because he would have to discard things at the campfire though he can craft two things okay then he's gonna get Two spears. Uh, so, wood and a stone, wood and a stone. He's getting two spears so that he can do some fighting. That's gone. And then, 
Uh, he's going to have to discard cards either way, isn't he? So let's have a look at it. Yep, here's the bison that he could kill now, but he hasn't got enough cards to discard anyway. Uh, he's just going to go to sleep early. So, at the... Oh, we lose anyway, don't we? Yeah, we lose anyway, uh, because we have the tent to spend. We can feed our people, our six people, two, four, six. Uh, then, have you got three food and a pelt? Got the pelt. Haven't got three extra food. Well, uh, that's just tough luck then, because uh, we've lost the game. <laughs> and there we go. There is our one victory point. There we go. That is a playthrough of level one of Paleo. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, that is linked on the screen shortly or it's in the description now. If you'd like to see more playthroughs, there's over 400 on this channel. And remember, there's the patreon.com forward slash slicker drips if you'd like to help me keep making them. Thank you very much to everyone that does already. Thank you for watching this, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. <laughs>